Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I last posted. I just want to thank each and every one of you guys for tuning in and following me in my journey and being part of it. I just want to thank you for all your prayers, your support, and your comments as it's making me feel like I'm not alone in this journey. I don't get to reply to all of the messages you guys have been sending, but I've definitely been trying to read as many of them as I could. Thank you to everybody who has been commenting and sharing whatever it is you guys are going through, whether it be cancer or another type of sickness or other types of hardship that you may be experiencing or even your families who are going through something similar like me. I just want to thank you guys for letting me be part of that as well. I want to apologize for not posting regularly as has been hard. I didn't realize how hard it would be to document this journey of mine as it's been a roller coaster. There's been a lot of ups and downs, physical and emotionally, it can get taxing at times. But nonetheless, I'm here and I'm able to make a video for you guys now. And thank you for being patient. Basically, one of the purposes of me doing this video now is because I want to get you guys all caught up. I know there's been a lot of people asking, like, what's going on? How come you haven't posted? And why aren't you posting regularly? Or some of the people asking other people who've been watching my videos, what's going on? We haven't heard from Hanson. Is he okay? Today is the most current and I am doing okay. I'm doing just fine. I'm not out of the deep woods yet, but I'm still fighting hard to beat this cancer. With this video, I'm gonna share with you all that I've been through, the ups and the downs, um, so that you guys know, because I've been sharing with you what I've been going through, so why hold back? I'm gonna show you everything. Turn away if you can't take some of it, but for those who are wanting to know, this is it. I'm gonna try to get you up to date as much as possible, but there's a lot of things that have been going on and I'm gonna share with you guys now what that has been like. After I left the hospital, I was home in time for Thanksgiving. I was so relieved because I did not want to be spending that in the hospital. It was a small celebration with close family just because we were being very cautious as we didn't want me to get sick and we wanted to give my body the best fighting chance to beat this cancer. Hey guys, a uh, quick little update. I've been out of the hospital for the last two days and it's been the best feeling. Got to celebrate Thanksgiving at home. Thankful to Andrew and Jeezy for really taking care of me, my mom. You know, just continuing on with my radonc, you know, to get the, treatment, the radiation treatment on this tumor that's over here. You know, letting the chemo continue to do its work inside my body. So I have a lot of things coming up. So Monday, Tuesday, I have my last two appointments for uh, the radonc. And then I have a meeting on Tuesday with my oncologist to talk about, hopefully they have inf more information about what type of treatment plan I'm actually gonna go on. Remember the chemo was only put in place to stop the spread because it was growing quite rapidly and I didn't know how painful it would be when the chemo is absorbed into a tumor and when it starts shooting out those signals of uh, you know the pain was I was shaking you know I think a lot of the, the doctors were laughing at me because I was rejecting a lot of the uh, narcotics and now I see why you need them because the pain is beyond measure. Anyways, gonna be at the hospital soon. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. And that's it. By the way, I forgot to tell you that initially I was supposed to do 10 straight sessions, but thank God after careful reevaluation, my doctor decided I only needed to do five. Two more, right? Okay. So I'll see you on Monday. Uh, I'll see you on Tuesday. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. All right, so I did my last rad onc appointment that targeted this tumor here. And I had my blood drawn this uh, morning. And it turns out that my hemoglobin is down right now because, you know, it's my first time having chemo and all that stuff, so. <sighs> the joys of cancer. I'm back in the emergency room right now. Thank God my brother brought me to this hospital, we actually were born in, maybe not this building, but we were born here in Peninsula. But I'm in my room again. They gave me a room right away because it's not good where my blood is right now and I need to get that transfusion. So it's just been a lot of news and I just got to take it one step at a time. You know, I'm going to be strong 
gotta fight this. My doctor's saying that's why I'm pretty tired right now because of my blood, but which was expected that I might need a blood transfusion. So here I am now and I'm just gonna wait for the doctors to come in and tell me what, to, what they need. More steps. It's been tough. I'll be honest with you. My brother and I were out to lunch in the middle of eating when all of a sudden this happened. still in my body but then I have an appointment today with my oncologist to talk about the next course of treatment is going to be for me. Hopefully we find out what the next step is in my treatment because man I'll tell you that my first round of chemo kind of kicked my butt because I didn't realize there would be that much pain involved. Hey guys, so I just got done with my appointment and we're leaving San Francisco now, which, which is really cool because UCSF is near both Oracle Park and Chase Center. Basically what happened today, I found out that I'm going to be on targeted treatment. So it's gonna be pills now. They were able to find like the right markers on the initial findings. After my meeting with my oncologist, I was hospitalized yet again. But luckily this time I had another visitor. This time it was my dad who was coming to take care of me as well. That was a very emotional time for me because it was the first time I have ever seen my dad cry. And I couldn't imagine what it was like to be in his position. He cried. I think I even cried. Um, because I haven't seen him up to that point, but it was a very emotional time for me. It was also a good time because the drug that my doctors decided that we would be doing was called Vitracti, and it would be the first time I would take this targeted drug that would specifically target my cancer. After being hospitalized, I was able to go home and spend time with my dad, spend some quality time with him and with family, relax and chill. But I would get my workouts in, even though it wasn't the kind of workouts that I was used to, I would go to the kitchen and just do some walking just to help get some kind of physical fitness in. Right now, it's currently 6 or 5 in the morning. I have another surgery that's about to happen with the stents. Remember I told you about those? Uh, some of the little guys narrowed after I did some of the other procedures. Chemo, rat on. So now we're gonna fix that. I have another issue, my stomach. So I feel like, you know, as I go through this journey, it's like one after the other, new things start popping up, but I'm dealing with it one by one. It's been a tough journey so far. You know, I'm hanging in there. So surgery today, hopefully I don't have to stay at the hospital during Christmas, get to be home. We fix my stomach situation. You guys can't see it from there, but it's pretty hard. It's all backed up because of maybe meds and stuff like that. Uh, more updates to come. Uh, I'll talk to you guys when I'm at the hospital. Hey guys, I'm here back at Interventional Radiology. Just waiting for my turn for my surgery to widen some narrow stents. So I'm next. Pray for me that it's gonna be successful. Again, the chair is floating so I feel more comfortable. And um, I told you guys I started my new treatment, which is a targeted treatment. Well, it goes for all the cancer that I have in my body is linked to this one genetic code that they found and it will attack it so it just treatment will work. Thank you guys for watching as I go through this journey. Not easy. Just one thing after the other. That's how it is you tackle each and every single thing as you go along. So, After the successful procedure of widening my stent, it was time for Christmas. And Christmas is just one of those holidays that I hold dear to my heart because the way it makes you feel. I think a lot of you guys can relate to how Christmas makes you feel. One of the things I love about Christmas is just because it's just, you're happy. Even in my shoes, I wasn't even thinking about cancer and what I was going through. Well, it was probably a little bit in the back of my head, but for the most part, you know, the feels that you get, the decorations, the family time, um, and just being happy. Again, it was a small celebration for us, but 
a good celebration nonetheless. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. I feel so bad this year. I wasn't able to go Christmas shopping. So I bought nothing under the tree. Well, I've been in and out of the hospital, like with dry mouth, blood transfusions, staying in the hospital. So, and I can't really drive around. I can't go around because I've been so tired. I feel bad this year. <laughs> My first year not participating. We'll see how that goes. You look way better compared to last week. Yeah, last why? Week you were struggling with pain with bloating and now to see you just walking and you're even beating us. So <laughs> that's an improvement. All right, so look at this. So everybody's opening up their stockings. So here's mine. You can see it says sand. So I'm gonna open, start opening up mine. Here's quarters for everybody. Here's a yeah. quarter. I won four dollars. Yeah, this is so bomb. These little, they're opening up gifts and I'm just like enjoying these chocolate covered Christmas trees by Reese's. So good. Mm. So this is my swollen legs, as you guys can see. My sister started rubbing my feet and then my mom started grabbing my stomach. I'm like, I'm like, what am I, Buddha? <laughs> Am I, are they rubbing me for good luck so that their next gift is exactly what they were looking for? A million dollars? A million dollars? See, my stomach is so big. This bloating is probably one of the side effects of the treatment I'm taking. So I have to kind of just... I know you went from like skeleton to... I know. I went from skeleton to big belly. Get in my belly. One of my gifts from Bob and Alice. They gave me this nice... Columbia jacket to wear to my appointments. Now take a look at my brother's special charcuterie board. Are you gonna eat it? Of why, course. Why is your face like that? I'm asking him. Look at you. Why? Huh? Hold on, let me take a picture. Yeah, I know. Look how nice it is. Jeezy, good job. I know. Just kidding. <laughs> And you guys know I don't have that big of an appetite, but I'm ready to dig in and try. Mm. Hazelnuts? Oh, good peanut. Yes, hazelnuts. Mm. Is that right? Onion peanuts. Peanuts? <laughs> Are all nuts peanuts? Mm, they're nuts. <laughs> this is from the uh, rose. Take a look at it. Let mm. Alice see it first. Yeah. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> After Christmas, it was back to our regularly scheduled program. And this time I needed to go back to UCSF for a CT scan. My family came with me. And luckily, after not eating so much because of the discomfort I was having in my abdomen, I was finally able to eat. And this time I had a little bit of an appetite and I was able to chow down on some good grub. So I'm back at UCSF. I have to drink this contrast today because my stomach, as you guys have seen, it's been really, really full. I have to drink half of this now and then the rest when I'm in the room. It's hard because I'm really full. So just got done with my CZ scan, went in here, had some contrast, but had such a hard time because I'm so bloated that I couldn't breathe properly. I got my IV in right there so I couldn't breathe properly. I hope I can figure out what this is. The problem, my stomach, look, I got dry mouth again. I'm done though with the scan, so let's see what's wrong with me. Right after the CT scan, look at him eating. He got so tired holding his breath, and he didn't eat since yesterday, since last night. And he didn't eat very much too last night, just a little yes, bit of the really salmon. So, the hospital just called, well, my oncologist's office called. It looks like another blood transfusion is needed tomorrow. So I'm gonna get another one tomorrow again. Unexpected, I did wake up this morning a little hard of breathing. You know, it's just part of the process. You know, it's a new treatment. You just get phone calls like that. Like, you need another blood transfusion. So that's gonna happen tomorrow. I'm just gonna wait for their call. Wait for that to happen. Earlier was a family affair. Everybody went with me to do my CT scan, which I had a hard time doing. Mainly because my stomach is so full. You guys can see that. 
It's just like really, really full. Hey, what's up guys? A little bit more dressed today, but uh, back at the hospital again. Got to do a blood infusion. So the hospital called for me to come much earlier. Luckily, my brother is available to bring me. So back at it. I'm at the infusion center now. I'm gonna have my blood transfusion. My, blood. my hemoglobin's kind of low. So, nice facility. How was that? It's good. It was a uh, simple fast. Uh, she got it. <laughs> the first, <laughs> first try. So while I'm getting my blood transfusion, it's time to eat. My brother went around and got some food for us. Now it's time to eat. It's the meat pie. Let me see it. Let me see what it is. So we tried the, what is this one? Peasant. Peasant pie. And this is the meat and potato. And what is this taste like? Spaghetti sauce. <laughs> it's like spaghetti sauce. <laughs> hey, what's up everyone? It is about to be 2023. Got a phone call the other day from my oncologist. There's a lot of procedures that are gonna actually happen in the coming week. Uh, one, because my belly, if you guys can see it, it's a little, uh, actually it's been bloated for a while so we might do a tap to release the liquid because you know sometimes when you're not getting proper nutrition, I think the cancer leaks liquid or something like that. So that's one of the things we're gonna take care of. We're probably gonna do a biopsy on my um, liver as well. That's one thing that they want to do. And something with my pancreas because of the, um, I don't know, something to do with the lining. It's not really, it hasn't really been an easy ride. There's a lot of things that happen. As you guys know, last or earlier this week, I had a blood transfusion. So there's a lot of things going on. And, you know, sharing this journey with you guys, uh, you guys see it's not easy. It's actually been a little bit challenging. Somewhat double teeping, a little painful. Mm -hmm. Really painful. Is it the cancer pain? No. I don't know yet. Let me just try to lay down. Hey guys, anyways, today is D-Day. We are on our way to the hospital, even though there's a storm. They were able to fit us in at UCSF for my procedure because I have ascites, which is where there's liquid here in my stomach. And my brother and I are crazy, because again, there's a storm. And I'm gonna have a procedure today. <laughs> They fit you in. I forget what the procedure's called. Paracentesis. Oh yeah, the par paracentesis. So that's where they're gonna drain the fluid. The fluid out of my abdomen. Abdomen. So hopefully Cavity. I'll be able to breathe better. And well, I should be able to breathe better mm -hmm. because they're telling me it's supposed to be. It'll relieve pressure yeah. from all the fluid pushing on things that it's not supposed to be pushing on. Yeah, and all the instant relief that I'm gonna be needing right away. So I'm excited. I don't know if I feel nervous it's just because i'm kind of excited to get this taken care of so we've been waiting that's mm -hmm. why, we've so. been waiting for this and thank you for driving me again jeezy you're welcome <laughs> and another thing on the side kind of gotten a little quarrel with my brother's dog yesterday <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see hey guys so I'm at UCSF already. Got my blood work done, luckily. We got here early enough. About to go in, just waiting for my turn. We'll see how the procedure goes, because I've never had one of these. Para, how do you say it again? Para, centesis. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get used to saying that, but paracentesis, because of my ascites. <laughs> so this is where he's in. Oh, oh, oh hello. <laughs> just to show you guys. <laughs> Come right in. Yeah. There we go. Get that drink. Yeah. There you go. 
Whoa. <laughs> Are you feeling relief at all? In that? I don't know yet. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I don't know yet. Until, until, mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, I'm just amazed by seeing it. When you stand is, up, definitely. You'll notice wow. it. Wow. Floating. Yeah, you're getting a lot of fluid off. You had that, it was just sort of dispersed really evenly between your organs Got instead it. of one big um, pocket. So it was tricky at first. So right? yeah, it, it just made it like... harder to get into, but now that we're in there, it's great. Wow, really well. I can't believe how much is in there. Yeah, you're doing a really good job. How do you feel, Sam? This, like, <laughs> this is my first time having it done. Mm -hmm. So. Wow, that's a lot coming out. So is there any more liquid? No, right now it looks good. Okay. I don't see any free fluid. Wow. How about, maybe maybe okay. a tiny pocket right there. Yeah, but wait, that's... that's below your intestinal loop, so okay. we wouldn't go chasing that down. But yeah, this looks great. I'm really happy with that. Yeah. And then my doctor's gonna wanna know what's in there, right? Right, so they're gonna run lab tests okay. on the content of this. Total is fourteen twenty five. Fourteen twenty five. That was more than you that was almost expected. triple what I expected. I thought we'd get what five hundred off today. That's great. You're gonna feel wow. better. Mm -hmm. oh, now you get a feel. What's been inside you? This How heavy, heavy is it? And this one, look because the bottle is heavy, right. right? Yeah, this is the bottle. Wow. This was inside of me. Yeah. Just not where it was supposed to be. Wow, that is crazy. All right, procedure's done. Now we are on our way home. The flu that came out was much more than she actually expected. So now we are in the head home for now and uh, beat this rain, um, this storm that's happening right now. You guys can take a look, it's starting already. We're on the way to the airport to pick up my sister. I'm really excited. It's my first time seeing her since I got diagnosed. So uh, it's gonna be nice to see her. All right, can't wait to see at the Mylan. Yeah, excited? it'll be nice to see her. Yeah. So my sister is here. Are you not used to this cold? My God, you're not used to it. My sister's here. Hi. She's here to visit me. I haven't <laughs> seen her since I got diagnosed. Uh -huh. Atom Island's here. Hey. How does it feel to be back in the berry? I know. Do you want dim sum at the Island? Yeah, we're gonna get dim sum. Are you okay with that? Yes. Yay, yeah, she wants some dim sum. Can you eat some? Yes, I'm so hungry right now. So we're gonna get dim sum now. With my Atom Island. Ocean view, even though me. Okay, something blocking the way. So the last time I was here, I had to have a blood transfusion, so we ordered so much food, but then I had to leave like right away. So not today. So we're gonna order everything. Are we ordering everything on the menu at the Mylan? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> so you want the shrimp and cilantro dumpling? Yes. We definitely need shomai. Thank you. Yeah. Vegan, the food is here na look, mga takaw. Lalo pa ito. So our food is here. We're gonna throw it down. I'm just so happy I have an appetite because for several weeks I wasn't eating. Look at this, so much food. After my lunch over here on Shomai. So look, just eating. Mm -hmm. So good. After several weeks, I'm in the mall. <laughs> That's something new again, because I haven't been to a mall. Because I've been, you know, at home, recovering, and, you know, doing my meds and treatment. So, finally, we're in the mall. It just feels good to just, you know, be out and about again, you know. Because, you know, when you're sick and I'm doing all those things, I'm just stuck at home, mainly. So, it feels good that I'm able to go out today, and now I'm getting Starbucks. Just gonna go walk around, show my sister around. He's my, unfortunately, my personal driver. Because <laughs> I can't drive right now. He used to drive me. I used to drive him all the time. Now, now I can't even drive myself, you know. Abba, <laughs> Dami. I knew she's gonna love it here. <laughs> and Dami, are you, is your coffee done now? Hindi pa. No. And then look at the mile and she's enjoying Gigi. No, nothing, no luck. So today. My interior is one of the, her favorite things she loves to do is to sing and she's drinking some drink and we're gonna have some ice cream so it'll help me with my tummy but we're just having fun passing the time and I was able to sing a little bit compared to like 
during New Year's where I was so frustrated because I couldn't sing at all. You let me like... I couldn't sing at all. No, I know, but I should, you oh should my let God. me know. What? Videotape me while you were singing. Oh, while I was singing? I'm going to sing another song. Oh. back at the hospital today will be my biopsy it's gonna be a long day because i'm gonna be under observation so it's gonna be a long day i haven't eaten anything i'm so hungry uh super good but i can't eat until after everything is said and done because i'll be like waiting in a room for four hours right now i have a um, appointment with my oncologist at 9 30 and then after that i'll be going in to do the procedure for the biopsy so I don't know why they scheduled it so close together, but that's going to be my day so far. I can't wait to eat. <laughs> right now, what's important is getting that biopsy done. I'm nervous about it. Hopefully it's nothing crossing my fingers. So here we go. All right, here I am in the uh, IR, getting ready for my liver biopsy. So I'm all dressed. As you can see, we're going to do vitals. You can open the curtain. So here we go. So I'm all prepped and just waiting for my turn. They did the ultrasound on my liver. They checked um, if I have another ascites. There was no liquid, so no paracentesis. I'm all set to go. Dry mouth, no food since last night. I'll be here for a while because they want to make sure I don't have bleeding. So I'll be here for three hours. They're going to do blood work. I'll do CT scanning there after the procedure. Make sure there's no bleeding. So there's a lot happening, hopefully. Crossing my fingers, there's no new cancer because obviously that would complicate things or change the course of my treatment. But right now we're just gonna do the biopsy and hope for the best that it's nothing new. So now it's the waiting game. I got my IV in, as you can see, got my IV in right here. The nurse, Sunny, his name is Sunny, Small World. He knows my brother, put it in really fast. So now it's just the waiting game. There's somebody in there before me and then it'll be my turn. So hopefully when I get out of this, no bleeding because I am hungry. I'm so hungry right now, which is a good thing because a couple weeks ago, as you guys know, I couldn't eat any food. I was not hungry at all, but right now I'm so hungry. And I need to shave this, my little whiskers, because it keeps making my mask go down. So I'll see you guys after the uh, procedure. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. So they're pretty good. So I'll see you on the flip. All right, guys. So just waking up under my sedation. Procedure went well. I'm now in my recovery room. Number two, I'll be here for another three hours under observation to make sure there's no bleeding in the area here. Let's see how it looks like. Hmm. Is there nothing? I'm, I don't know. I'm not sure where they went in. Hmm. Well, anyway, they're going to do uh, another blood test again just to make sure that I'm okay. Then I get to go home and eat food. I'm so hungry. I'm going to sleep a little bit more. So let me sleep, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Even though I have family time, I still needed to keep up with all my appointments. And this time it was with my SMS doctor, the one who takes care of a lot of that medication that deals with my pain. After my appointment, I got to hang out with both of my sisters. I guess the one benefit I get from being sick is getting in that family time. You let me know if we need to adjust that and we can adjust it either by going back to 30 in the morning or adding a 15 dose in the afternoon. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, sounds good. Anyways, we're on our way to Berkeley. Today I'm getting a PET scan and CAT scan to get a clearer picture for my doctors of where I am exactly. Um, they're gonna do comparisons. But this is my first time doing a PET scan. I've never done a PET scan. And from what I remember, even when I had cancer, the first time around. I don't think I did a PET scan back then, but we'll see when I see the machine. I haven't eaten since last night, so I'm really, really hungry. I can't wait to eat after. We might just eat at like Ikea or something like that. And today is at my lens. First time coming with me to an appointment. She normally hasn't gone because the other appointments you're only allowed like one person. So today for the scans, it's three of us, of course, regular cast. 
right here. Hi. Regu <laughs> regular cast, she jeezy. And then at the Milan is additional cast today. So I'm happy she's with me. All right, we are here now to my appointment. Hopefully it's quick. It's really hard, but I'm happy that I'm my siblings are with me. So I'm all checked in with my siblings. I'm happy that they're with me today. They get to have tea while I get to suffer and not have anything because it's not allowed when you're doing a PET scan. So I'm in the room, get uh, back there. And all this stuff is gonna go in my arm. Nobody's allowed to come with me inside the room. Maybe you got something right here. Too. Okay, good. Just leave it right there for now. Keep your arms straight. All right. Keep your face for a little bit. Okay. He was good. He got it right away. Other times they want to stay in the hospital. Are you they didn't get it right away. <laughs> so this is the story of my life for now. I've been doing this a lot. So today, what are we starting with? Pet? Yes. A pet. Okay, so pet, pet scan first. first. And then the city immediately after. Okay, I thought because the lady in the front said I had to go to the sec uh, third floor for the cat scan. But mm -hmm. no, we're just doing it all here, One which is nice. Shopping. One stop shop. Very good. And this is going to be your flush. And I'm, I'm just gonna flush, flush it, it yeah. until, and then I'm gonna run to the left. Okay, so that's the flush. See, I could be a nurse already because I see, I really know all the things that they're gonna do. <laughs> so this is how this works. We okay. starve you to death, um, mm -hmm. and now I'm injecting with a little bit of radioactive glucose. Okay. That's gonna go to every cell in your body. Okay. Damn, I forgot to take a video of the, the scanner because the scanner does both. It does the PET scan and the CT scan. I'm all done. We've gone through like with one thing coming up after the other, but take each day as it comes, one by one, tackle each uh, obstacle. We'll get through this. But it's nice to know that you guys are there. Just keep on supporting me. Prayers is one of the things I need and I'm just gonna keep on fighting. Um, there's no other choice for me right now. But to keep on fighting, I hear the news and then just take it in stride and then on to the next so that's my update hope you guys had a good new year uh this new year will be challenging but we'll get through it somehow anyways that's it for now and um i will see you guys soon oh i have another visitor visiting again hey, look who's back again this is my medicine schedule that i have to prepare every day is worth 18,000 US dollars just for this bottle. This is my body right now compared to before. This is one of the side effects of my treatment. This is what happens to my skin and it's pretty gross. So today's movie day. We're going out. It's gonna be a fun game. All right, just spoke with the anesthesiologist. Looks like we're gonna be doing twilight anesthesia just waiting for this to get started and so we can find out really what's going on here in my belly